Well, congrats for making it this far on the journey. That's exciting. Um, I love talking to people who are feeling God's call on their lives and who are willing to step out in faith to take the next step. And it's always a scary thing, but God blesses it. And good for you for being willing to take the journey and take the step. But don't forget that you have got people in your life who already love you, who already are committed to you and whatever you're doing. I spent three years with Jem in Slovenia, and it was a fantastic experience. And I remember at the start being really nervous about support raising. But what I found along the way was that people were interested in me more than anything. They were committing to support me instead of my ministry. And yes, it was important to share the specifics of where I was going, but more than that, people believed in me and they wanted to support me, whatever I was doing. So as I understood that at the beginning, it made things a lot easier. Not that I had to make the big flashy presentation, but just even at the beginning, just sharing my heart with my friends and getting them on board with my passion, um, helped them understand much more where I was coming from and helped them be more willing to eventually financially support me. So there were a lot of things, um, even at the beginning of the process, that you can start thinking about. Um, one is just telling your story, telling people your background, where you're from, um, and pointing them towards just the story of what God is doing in your life. Um, there are a whole bunch of social media outlets now that I would encourage you to get on if you're not already. Um, even in Slovenia, I loved being on Facebook because it was where I could keep up with people, informally, formally, however you wanted to use it. It was a huge, huge tool. Um, and it was great for people to be able to see my life as well, stories of where I was, pictures of where I was, um, and even, even leading up to where I was going. It was great to be able to interact with them in that way. And it also took the pressure off. A lot of us are already on Facebook already. We know how to have the short little dialogues with people and keep in touch with them. So that was a huge help. As you are telling people your story about what God's calling you to do, as you're asking them to be with you on the journey, a huge part of it is just sharing your passion and your knowledge about the country that you're going to serve. When I was going to Slovenia, most people that I knew, including myself, barely knew where the country was. Um, so it was important that I was able to share with them and kind of covertly educate them in, one, the spiritual needs of Slovenia, but also the spiritual needs of Europe. Most people are not aware of Europe as a mission field. They hear, well, it's been traditionally Catholic or it's been traditionally Orthodox. And people think, great, they're done. Let's move on to the hard places. Um, but so sharing with them the needs in Slovenia or whatever country you're going to was a huge thing. Um, and people were more responsive as well once they understood the need there. I just want to encourage you with a couple things that you can be doing even now, before you've possibly even been appointed, as you're just exploring possibilities of what God would have you do in Europe. As you start farther along in this process, as you move farther along in this process, there's probably a good amount of fear involved of stepping out into the unknown, maybe fear of support raising as well. And I just want to encourage you um, to A, give those fears to God. He knows what he's doing. He's called you. He will provide. But also, I found as I was raising support, I really just got to sit back and watch God move. It was a year from when I was first appointed to when I left for the field. And the whole year was just filled with God's faithfulness. I always felt like I should be doing something more, going maybe I should be calling people more. or Maybe I should be writing better letters. I don't know. He brought people into my path that I never would have thought of. I worked at a coffee shop for a while and had day-to-day -day interactions. How are you doing? What's going on? How's your life with people as I was making their drinks? One day, I was conversing with a customer who I barely knew, started to share a little bit of my story. Yes, I'm working at the shop, but I'm raising support, actually, to go to Slovenia, and here's the ministry that I'm going to be involved in, and I'm so excited. And he looked at me and said, you know, I'm actually the missions pastor of a local church here in town, and we would love to support you. Could you come talk to us? Could we, you know, like give you money every month? And it just blew my mind. Um, so even people that you would never expect, God will bring along your path. Um, so as you're praying, as you're processing, I just encourage you to take heart. God knows what he's doing, and he's got it under control. And be excited to share your story with anyone, with everyone. People who you never expect would love to be on your journey with you.